I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here's episode 10 of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we made our way through Eterna Forest with Cheryl, and we're heading towards Eterna City now. We're back in Route 205, but we got some berries here, so we're going to pick these. Oh yeah, I was going to guess what these were. Well, these are orange berries, you can tell by the blueberries. I'm guessing these are Pecha. Red. Is that cherry? We'll find out here in a minute. In a minute here. So we got the orange berries. I know for sure this is Pecha. Yeah. And I think those red ones are cherry. Nice. Look at me go. We're going to be berry experts by the end of this Let's Play. Wait, can you grow four here? Petcha. Oh, we can. Grow some more chestnut then, why not? So both of those are wet, so I don't think I need to water the other one. Yeah, I think we're good there. Okay, um... So we're gonna probably battle these fishermen. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Anything down here? Probably nothing. Well, we can fish with our old rod, but it's probably just gonna be magic arms, right? Yeah, we don't have cut yet. I have myself a feisty trainer. Let's go. Joseph has a Goldeen. Okay, so Goldeen's in the game. I don't really want to use Seeking. We're looking for water Pokemon. Uh, besides Gyarados. We're probably just going to use Gyarados. I like Gyarados a lot. So I don't know why I'm so hesitant to use Gyarados. For some reason, I just want to use a different water Pokemon. I don't know why. Eh, maybe stick with Gyarados would be a good idea. Um, it could learn like some dragon attacks that could help us against like certain you know gym leaders and elite fours and things like that. I'm assuming it could learn like Dragon Pulse down the line or something. Or not Dragon Rage, but uh, uh we'll see. I can't Google it either because my internet's still down at the moment as we're uh. Working on the other living room, getting a floor down. They had to move the uh, the uh, modem for the time being. I mean, I could Google on my phone, but don't really feel like it. Take down Goldeen. Get some EXP. I let a big one slip away. Well, happens to the best of us. Nothing's buying, so I can use a break, I suppose. Imagine in a Pokemon battle, and all of a sudden, like, you leave your fishing pole there. He's gonna have all magic carbs, isn't he? Yeah, it probably is. Um, leaving your, like, your fishing pole in a stationary position, all of a sudden, like, it's something janking on it while you're in a Pokemon battle. What do you do then, huh? What do you do? Do you abandon the battle and go do the thing, or... Do you let your fishing pole get pulled out of the, uh... Gimmick, and you lose your fish, you know? Free EXP incoming. Excuse me. Sorry for the yarn. I still haven't had any uh, caffeine yet today. I know it's it's dark outside now. It's getting late. And I haven't had any caffeine all day. It's been a been a, been a busy boy today, you know. But once I'm done with this episode, I'm gonna make me some dinner. Don't know what I'm gonna make myself yet. And uh, figure that out. 
and then uh, maybe have uh, a Dr. Pepper or something, I don't know, or maybe go for a coffee. Get a little, get a little caffeine in my body, a little energy, get the blood flowing a little bit, you know. And then, uh, and some food I'll help as well. And then I can record some more later tonight. Might take a little break though after dinner. Depends. Um, my brother and myself, we've been doing a lot of uh, double up on TFT. It's like a two-player uh, TFT game. And uh, if he's on, if he wants to play, I might do that for a little bit before I record some videos. But if not, that's fine too. I'll just record videos. <laughs> I know he might be uh, playing Rust. But he's had a big reset, apparently, so he's uh, getting lured back in by his Rust buddies. And whenever he starts playing Rust, man, we lose him for a little while. A month or two, he'll just, just won't even talk to us. If, oh, yeah, my internet's on. Looks like I can check Steam, but. To see if that's what he's doing. Interesting. Oh man. Oh. What do I want to do for dinner? I don't know. We're going grocery shopping tomorrow, so we don't have like. A huge selection. There's stuff in there, obviously, but kind of uh, limited on my decisions there. I think we have uh, a bag of pizza rolls. Now, I've been trying to avoid red sauces, and obviously, pizza rolls also just aren't a very healthy thing in general. But I might just have some tonight. Maybe maybe some pizza rolls and a salad. I had a salad earlier. Maybe I'll have another salad for dinner to kind of uh, that way I could eat less pizza rolls to fill me up, right? I might do that. Got some boiled eggs I could throw in the uh, salad. Maybe throw some feta in there. Ugh. I think I have a can of uh, beans left too. I can make some butter beans. Got some tuna in the pantry. Maybe some with some tuna. One thing that I used to eat a lot of, back when I used to work out a lot, and this is going to sound gross, but bear with me, butter beans and tuna. It's actually better than it sounds. But you have to be careful because if you drain the butter beans and you drain the tuna, it's going to be a very dry dish. So you want to make sure, the tip that I would say is keep the juice from the butter beans in there. And then add some, uh, you know, make the butter beans in the in the microwave or whatever. Put a little black pepper. Add the tuna. Post microwave of the butter beans. Stir it up. Add some good eating. I could have that for dinner. Although one can may not fill me up, so I could do that in some uh, salad, or I could do the pizza rolls. I think we have some frozen uh, Tostino pizzas as well. But again, I'm trying to avoid the red sauce right now, but and pizza. And over Thanksgiving they kinda of like shit, as most people probably do around Thanksgiving time, so you know, trying to trying to reel reel that back a little bit. So maybe we'll be uh you know. But again, I gotta go grocery shop, gotta get pick up some provisions tomorrow. And uh Get back to what we're doing, you know? 
back to eating healthier. <sighs> yeah, cause I'm even, I'm out of uh, like lunch meat, so I can't even make like a turkey sandwich for lunch or anything like that. Now, I do have some turkey bacon, but it's frozen, so I don't like defrosting it. Should grab some water before I start recording. Rip. Ba -ba. Kisame level 19, one level away from Gyarados. We're getting there. I mean, we could just have a battle of the, Mag uh, the Magikarps. Alright, battle of the Magikarps, here we go. Yeah, too bad you don't have Tackle yet, huh, bucko? Ha 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 ha. Let's see here. Losing has my emotions all knotted up. I appreciate the pun. All right. An item over here, a potion. And we just watered those berries. We have made it to Eterna City. Here we go. Feel that wind in your face. Er, it's okay. Never mind. You look tough. I won't take, um... I'll let you just keep your Pokemon. Carry on. <laughs> You're damn right. I'd wipe the floor with you, bud. Right, let's heal up our Pokemon. Magikarp's so close to evolving. Granted, I'm pretty sure Eterna City is a grass gym, if I remember right. So we wouldn't be using Gyarados anyways. Oh, we got a friendship checker, nice. So how do I... Hold on, we have to use this, right? Is this the friendship checker? I've already done that joke once. Um, step counter. Is it this that's the friendship checker? I don't know, it's whatever. It looks so cool, they don't. Eterno City is not anything like it was before, way back in the day. Is this underground? No, this is probably just to another route. Hey, we got a rare candy. Cool. Alright, so we can't go there yet. We have to get a bicycle. Nothing here. 
Between Monferno and Raven, quote the Raven, nevermore, this grass gym should be a cakewalk. We'll, we'll jump into it soon. I want to uh, continue exploring first. You know me, I like to explore. Oh, nice, we can change nicknames here, okay. Oh, yes. I don't know if this is the only way you can get Chatot in this game. But we can obviously breed it for the uh, OT. I low-key really like Chatot. I hope they do something with him in, in the future. Give him an evolution or something. Trap. Thanks, Norton. Chatot, the music notes, Pokemon. They can learn and speak human words. If they gather, they'll all learn the same saying. Alright, cool. Alright, let's head upstairs. Trash can? Nope. So, TM67, I'm guessing, is recycle. Artham City for the contest, okay. Oh yeah, secret bases are in this game too, huh? Oh, we got a lot to do in this game, I can't wait. Alright, so... There's that... This is the bicycle shop. I don't remember if they just give you a bicycle right away or do you have to like earn it? Yeah, we have to save him. Okay, so when we save him, we'll give us a bike then. That makes sense. Hmm. <laughs> What's this? Dude, I spent so much time playing in the underground on Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Are we about to jump in? Oh, it's doing it for me. I'm excited. Hi, Kanan. Oh, it's Rourke. This is your first time here. Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. There's a network of tunnels, caves, and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing down in this expanse of a place? That's kind of a hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up fossils and treasure, or you can make your own secret base. You should talk to the underground man and turn to city to learn more. Why is the way to go back to the surface? Remember, why? I have to go now. See you around. I was playing the underground for a bit, dude. I am pumped. There's an orange dot here, I don't know. Sure. Digging for fossils. I put a sledgehammer and pickaxe in your explorer kit, use them, and you'll be able to dig out all kinds of stuff. If we can get a cool fossil, we might throw that Pokemon on our team. Okay. So I don't... Okay, I see. So this is probably what you would want to use a hammer on. And then you see this little bar at the top here, kind of to the right of the hammer. That's kind of like the bar, once it like reaches the end, it breaks, right?
We got something there. Hold up. Something watery. This this isn't a water stone, I'd imagine. We'll find out shortly. And then these little little gimmicks there. That's uh, currency, I believe, right? That you can exchange to somebody. <clears throat> a pretty stone box. What's in here? Oh, a statue! That's sick! Hell yeah, dude! Question mark over here. Dude, I'm gonna spend so much time in the underground. I am so excited. What's this? Oh, there's a gastrod on here? Are these... Are these wild Pokemon? Yo, hold on. I don't... I don't remember you being able to find uh, Pokemon in the OG uh, underground. Yo, this is sick. Damn, they're high as hell level 2. My god. They're level 20? Yo. Listen, I don't want to spend like 20 episodes in the underground on camera. But I might. <laughs> I might do some of this stuff off camera. But... If I catch anything, I'll let you guys know, obviously. Or I might even, like, just turn the camera on and make a, a compilation or something. Yo, dude. We need to stock up with some balls, bro. Like, some net balls and stuff. We did, like, no damage to it. Gastron's pretty freaking tanky, huh? I don't think we can beat this Pokemon with Badoo right now. Maybe we can, we just have to use some potions. I'll use uh, a couple growths. Hopefully we don't get confused, that's gonna be a, a bummer. Of course, right? If we get by confusion, it's probably gonna knock us out. I believe it's a 30% chance that we hit ourselves in confusion. If memory serves me right. This is like my favorite part of Pokemon Diamond was coming to the underground. I'm so pumped. We need to get some Paras here. I don't mean the Pokemon. Alright, let's go Growth. Oh yeah, we're still confused. Dude, I'm excited to so explore. We're, we're going to spend probably a couple episodes down here, guys. I want you guys to know that ahead of time. <laughs> I want to do some exploring, man. I want to do one more. We're still having snapped out of confusion. So it has recover. <laughs> Maybe we should use Gastrodon, dude. I mean, Gastrodon seems pretty strong, dude. Each in power. That did a lot more than I feel like it should have. This might KO us, actually. Now we have 2 HP and a dream. 
The thing is, I don't know if a potion is going to be enough for us to survive. I need to go for a para here. I don't know if I want to battle any more Gastrodons, dude. These are pretty strong. Gets a water pulse off. You know what? I'm going to go for the... Oh, we don't have any... Uh, any more net balls, but this dust ball should do work. Technically in like a cavern, right? The underground should be considered a cavern, you would think. Let's go, baby. Let's go! Alright, Dexium has level 21. Goku level 21. Mocha level 19. Gastrodon, the sea slug Pokemon. It has a pliable body without any bones. If any part of its body is torn off, it grows one right back. Do we want to use Gastrodon? Like, we almost have Gyarados at this point. I kind of think we might use Gastrodon, guys. It's a ground type, so it's going to help us with the electric weakness with our flying type. And it's a water type. Obviously, grass would be a problem, but we have Goku and we'll have Crobat to switch into. You know what? I'm thinking about it. We're going to name her Nico because she's pink. We're going to go ahead and get Gyarados first, because we're so close. This is sick, dude. There's a ton of Gastrodons here, my god. I wasn't expecting this. For 27 minutes? Okay. We'll explore a little bit longer, then we'll wrap it up. Then we'll get something to eat. And I'll record some more. I guess we're probably going to explore here a little bit. Nice. There's definitely something in there. Oh no, those rocks are... Okay, yeah. Whoops. I was going to say, maybe a hard scale, but no, it's one of those guys. Okay. Let me check down here. Nope. Found it. Will we be able to get it? Let's go. We're pros. Some small spheres. Wait, there's still a little yellow gimmick here. Is there more? There is. Two things, okay. Oh, we found something. Was it another one of those chests? Okay, it looks like some sort of diamond thing. Okay, just a regular rock over there. Um, ah! That might be a revive, maybe? Or it might just be a big sphere. Prism sphere, okay. No, revives are like little yellow diamonds, what am I thinking? Another, this is, this is a pretty stone box. And we got... Yo! <laughs> Look at that mean motherfucker. Hell yeah, give me that. Are we going to collect all the statues? Is there a statue for each Pokemon? Are we going to try to get all... Are we going to make a living dex out of statues? We might. Yo, four? I think it's going to be hard to get freaking four. They must be small things, yeah? Hmm. 
Whoops. There's four things we're not going to find any of them. Alright, well, we found one thing at least. Oh, that's a revive. Crazy that we found one after we mentioned one. Okay, so we got two out of the four. We'll take that. Alright. Alright, we'll do this last one, then we'll wrap it up here. Oh wow, okay. So we got a red spear, or sphere. There's four things here, huh? One more. Damn, I don't think we're going to find it. My headset's dying too. Okay, perfect timing to finish recording for a little bit. Oh, it's a uh, hard scale. Nice, we got all four, baby. Now I can charge my headset, eat some food. Get a little bit of caffeine in me. Dude, I'm so excited to explore some more. I kind of want to... I just want to see what's in here. I got to see. I got to see. I got to see. Badoo and uh, Geodudes. Okay. And I'm a chop. Okay. Buneary. This is a cool uh, little area. What's zero, 0 out of 40? What does that mean? Apacharisu. If we catch, is that like catching Pokemon maybe? Hold on. Let's try to catch Geodude, I guess. Because we could use another one for Graveler, right? For the Living Dex. He's level 17. Oh, you're really low. It's risky if he's a, fire, uh, a rock move. Um, let's just do this. Magic up should be fine for a second. Let's, uh, kill a tuxedo mask. Use rock throw, okay. Did a lot of damage to magic card. Should be able to survive one absorb, I would think. Maybe a sturdy? No? Okay, just survived. Get that HP back. Goes for Harden. Alright, so let's capture this Geodude. I want to see if that number goes up. Because I don't know if, like, maybe if we catch f or, or, or battle. It could just be battle. Maybe, maybe we don't have to catch all these Pokemon. Maybe we get, like, a prize or something. Geodude was caught. No, it's still zero, 0 out of 40, okay. Well, let's try knocking a Pokemon out and see if that makes a difference. There's Badoo. And then we'll wrap up as soon as we knock out this Pokemon and get that answer for us. Oh, 
We might we might grind a little about a little bit out here as well because I mean she's not gonna oh yeah we wanna lock her anyways. I, was, I don't know why I was trying to think about catching her. Flame wheel. Easy clap. Umi level twenty one. didn't go up okay I'm not sure what that number is then all right guys with that let's go ahead and end the episode here what an exciting episode as I mentioned we'll do some exploring down here in the underground for a little bit uh, maybe a couple episodes worth and then we'll go back to uh, exploring Eternal City go into the gym battle maybe uh, stopping Team Galactic in our bicycle etc thank you guys so much for watching until next time I'm the Mavermark Daniels bidding you farewell peace and one love bang